seems I'm always uh, in an airport when I start off these blogs and uh, this is no different. I'm actually in uh, Taiwan airport right now on a layover on the way to Malaysia Borneo for the next 10 days of uh, diving and uh, exploring Borneo. <clears throat> Interesting culture here. Just before we get off the plane, they reminded us that any uh, offense uh, involving uh, drugs is punishable by death. Just got off the plane. Just a second. Hot, humid, and I'm greeted by the very traditional Borneo food processing. Oh, I feel at home now. I love coming to new places. I don't know, I think we've been traveling for uh, 30 hours, maybe? Okay, right now we're in Koto Kinabalu, and we're downstairs in a kind of a strange looking mall, getting the money changed over, and the power's just gone. So, looks like it's a regular happening though, because everybody's kind of taking it in stride. Okay, so we're just in the, uh, the van right now, and Bobby's talking to uh, Laura about the, Oh, there's Laura, by the way. Bobby's just telling us about where he's taking us, which is to the House of Skulls, a uh, traditional cultural village here in uh, Kota Kinabulu. 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 Kota Kinabulu. So, we're going to drive through the city for a while, about a half hour or so, and then um, make our way to the cultural village and check it out. Nice, easy beginning to this uh, working, writing, diving vacation in Borneo. So because uh, Malaysia Tourism has brought me here, they've actually uh, asked that I come and see the cultural village and a couple of things around, uh, around the area of uh, Koto Kinabalu. This is actually uh, the place where they call uh, the House of Skulls because they were originally uh, headhunters here a long time ago. And you used to actually uh, um, well, hunt heads. And it could even be part of a dowry if you're trying to impress someone and you wanted to marry them. And the more skulls you had, the, you know, the more more power you had, the more likely you were able to uh, defend your wife-to-be. Let's check this out. Rice wine. Not much less there. So imagine, let's say, of skulls and that's uh, it's a line of skulls that comes from uh, you know, Sophia which is the, uh, the main warrior who lived here and uh, these are a collection of skulls from uh, about 150 years ago from different battles and fights and the warriors would come in and they would fight and of course what you would do is you would take your trophy his head and uh, this guy apparently was a bit of a champion fighter because uh, he just died his head stayed on his shoulders a lot of heads up there though the black thing around the skull, they believe that it's the blood stain. Hey everyone, if you want to see more of my video blogs, Go to lestroud.ca slash videoblog.